Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 14 laptop. This one is a Dell Inspiron 3421 uh, model. And this do come with an iCore 3, yours might be iCore 5. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how you can repaste and clean up the laptop easy at home. I'm going to go over the tools that I'm going to be using. First thing first is an alcohol, isopropylic alcohol or isopropylic alcohol. 90% plus. You need a thermal paste. Arctic MX4 or MX5 are really great for this model. You will need a workshop towel. I'll always have a roll of this one. You need half a sheet or one sheet of the rolls. You need a screwdriver set. I'm gonna be using an uh, iFixit screwdriver set. From here we're gonna be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, you get an opening tool and some tweezers. But if you don't want to get a pro set, get the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'm going to be using a metallic guitar pick. These are really suitable to opening cases and covers. And uh, curved tweezers in case that we need. Alright, with all this on hand, let's get it started. Alright, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. You want to remove the battery by pulling these triggers away. Lift out the battery from the back side up, put it to one side. You're going to remove the service cover here. You're going to remove one screw for the service cover. You're going to slide out the cover, but you have to lift up the front end a little bit up. You slide it towards yourself and with an opening tool, I'm just going to lift it up a little bit towards myself. So it helps the sliding out and remove it. Now we're going to remove the hard drive. There's one tiny screw on the back here. Go ahead and remove this tiny screw for the hard drive. Slide the hard drive towards the left and then bring it back this way upwards. It goes in. It's like a 3.5 turn. And we don't need to remove the RAM. We do need to remove the cables for antenna for the Wi-Fi. So lift them up. Bring it up. like that and untangle it. We're going to remove all the screws at the bottom cover. Go ahead and start removing all of them. All the screws at the bottom cover are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Once you remove all the screws, the one in the middle too, you can slide out the and DVD drive, but it's not coming out. Probably has a one more screw on the other side. So once you remove all this, now we're gonna remove the keyboard, opening up the laptop, and you're gonna see those clips right on the top. We wanna push them toward the screen. So it's start from the middle, push it from the screen and lift it up a little bit. Then next, and lift it up one more right there. The one in the corner and left of the keyboard, bring it up, put it this side, remove the flex cable by putting your finger right underneath and lifting up 90 degrees and pull out the flex cable. And we're going to remove the screws right on the palm rest here on top, so the one right there. There, there are four of them in there. So remove those four screws. You want to remove the flex cable for the trackpad, slide out, power on switch, lift up, and slide out. Once you got all this in, you want to remove the tray for this one. Just I'm pushing it inward from here, and it should release itself, pull it out, put it to one side. So what you want to do here is to grab the opening tool. And you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover there here. And you want to just twist it and you want to hear a few clicks. That's what you want to hear. Do all around on the sides. You guys can see it there. Go all the way back to the back corner. Left and right side you want to do it. Once you did that, lift up from the bottom side, bring it up. And the back end should click itself and unclip itself. And there's the palm rest, so you can go ahead and clean up with a toothbrush, with an old new toothbrush. And down here we got the fan. 
You see, it's already been covered by this flex cable, so there's an intake. It's already covered by the pomeres here. And on the bottom side, the, rest, the airflow is like tiny, tiny space in here. So this is really bad airflow that they have in here. And this design is, is being done in, in purpose. So after a few years, it starts overheating and it starts damaging the motherboard. But anyway, we can do it. You can just open a holes on the bottom case if you want. But in here, let's go ahead and remove this extension USB right here. Pulling it up has a little adhesive. You can rip up this adhesive slowly. You want to remove this flex cable for the LCD. Lift up the tape. Bring the tape over the same way that you did it for the keyboard. And lift up. You can just peel this one off, and there's a camera right here and this one you have to slide it out there's a jack you have to slide this jack backward and both together come out there we go now we need to remove this power jack connector right here so you just want to peel it push it backward i'm going to use a flat screwdriver right here i'm going to push it back if you can, just pull the cable back, wiggle it around, and it should release itself. Yeah, unhook the speaker cable here, the jack, pull the jack back. Then we're going to remove the motherboard by removing one screw right over here. All right. Then we're going to lift up the motherboard gently and pull it out. I'm going to leave it in this position. Then we can flip it over. So I like to put it on top of a towel so you don't scratch or do anything on it so put it right here now we see the fan we're going to remove the fan connector you can pull on the cables or you can pull right really close to the jack remove the fan connector remove the heatsink by removing three screws right in here the screws do have a c lock on them so they will not come out entirely you just have to loose them up and grab it and lift it up. So there's the CPU and there's the heatsink. Now this, we're gonna clean it up. So we're gonna grab a little bit of workshop towel. We're gonna soak it in, in an alcohol. We are gonna swipe right on top of the CPU to remove all those excess of the thermal paste. And I'm gonna shake this off. There we go. Uh, with the dry part, clean up the dye, make sure it's really nice and shiny. Same thing on the CP, on the heatsink, clean it up nicely. All right, we're gonna put the motherboard to one side and we're gonna service the heatsink right here. All right, to service up the heatsink, we do need to remove the fan. You need to remove the gaffer's tape that is in here. You need to remove this tape right here. You can either rip it apart or find the edge and pull it out. You don't need to put it back in, but if you want to purchase some gaffer's tape, and that's all you need. But it's really close to the heatsink. To remove it, we need to remove here three tiny screws. These are like a triple zero Phillips. Go ahead and remove these tiny screws the fan should come out pretty easy. So you can see all this dust built in there. So we're gonna clean up with a toothbrush and with a compressor, we're gonna clean it up. You're gonna grab the fan from both sides like this and you're gonna lift it up and we're gonna service up the fan too. So I'm gonna go outside first and with a compressor, I'm gonna clean up with a toothbrush, I'm gonna clean up this one and I'll be back. Now that I cleaned it up nicely, uh, even the fan, now we're gonna clean up and service the inside of the fan. All you need to do is to grab a little bit of workshop towel, soak it in an alcohol, and you wanna fold it and fold it, and you wanna clean right inside here. Gently push it in and rotate evenly, and make sure you remove all those old grease, dust, everything on those magnets. You see all those dirt? That's what you wanna do. You wanna clean that, and clean all around here. 
And now what we wanted to put new oil. I'll leave the link for the oil that we use. You want to put a one tiny drop right in the middle. That's all you need. I'm going to focus so I don't overdo this. One tiny drop in there. That's more than enough for another three to four years. So grab the fan, bring it over, align it, and look at that. It's so smooth as butter right there. Next is to just put the fan right on top. Put the gaffer step if you want. I'm not going to put it right now. And put the three screws on the fan to hold it in place. There we have it. Now you need to grab the motherboard, bring the motherboard, put the thermal paste, tiny line right on the CPU. There we go. And you want to put it straight on top. You don't want to lift it up once you put it down. You want to hold it down. I didn't switch my bed, so we're going to switch back to Phillips number zero. You're going to put one second one right here and the third one right there. Make sure after you did this, always connect the fan cable. People usually forget it, push it inboard. And you're almost set to go. Now you need to grab this motherboard. You want to put the I.O. side down here. That's what I'm saying. You can open a holes right here with a drill bit, make few holes so the airflow will be even better for here. So put this one right in there and bring it down and squeeze in there. Put the speaker cable in there. Put the flex cable for the expansion for the USB. Now lock it down, put the cable right there, just like that. Plug in the jack connector right in there, squeeze it in there, run the cable, make sure nicely snuggled in there. Put the flex cable for the, this one has a little notch in the corner, the earlobes, has to go in 45 degree inside the jack. All the way in in 45 degree and then evenly and then you want to lock it down once it's in there and tape it on top this one is like a fan it just slides in and it's squeeze in there and you're set to go put the tiny screw that I forgot to put that goes under this one and on the motherboard there's only one screw put that one in there and Nicely align the cables right in there. Make sure it's not being pinched or anything. Connectors nicely. Grab the palm rest. Bring it over. Align it on top. And you want to pinch and squeeze. And you should hear big clicks. You want to do that. There you go on the back, on the front, all of them. Put the three, four screws on the inside the palm rest. So there should be four of them. Before you do that, put the CD-ROM in there. So slide it right in there. And continue putting the four screws inside the palm rest. All right, now we need to put the, open up the lock. And a little adhesive, I like to peel it up so you have more room to play around here. You slide this one doesn't have any earlobe, so you can just slide it nicely under inside the jack. Once it's all the way in, I'm gonna push it all the way in, hold it, and then lock it in place. For the trackpad, same thing. I'm gonna put it right underneath and hold it, and lock it down. Grab the keyboard, bring it in an offset position, grab the this side up, it says. Open up the lock, has an earlobe, tiny earlobes on the side. This one has to go in 45 degree angle. We're going to help it out with the tweezers. There you go. Once it's in there, and I'm going to lock it down. Bring the bottom of the keyboard, slide it right under palm rest. Grab it from the middle, squeeze the side. Make sure you hear those tiny clicks. Now pretty much almost done. Close it down, flip it over. 
first we're gonna run the cables for the Wi-Fi cables right in there in the grooves right there and this is like a snap on type so you have to align it right on the jack and then push it down it makes a tiny clicks okay same thing for the black cable and the white cable there we go now it's in place you snuggle right in there now we're gonna first put the hard drive put the back end down inside and then bring it and make sure the jack goes right in there put the tiny screw for the hard drive carry right in the corner at the back so you don't forget that one once you have that one in there put the one screw right in the middle right here once you put this one in here you can go ahead and put the service cover right on top bring it with an offset position then squeeze it in there and put the tiny screw right on top and this is how you do your own service and the rest of the screws goes all over the place on the bottom case i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own services if you did click that like and subscribe button i'll greatly appreciate it if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a the video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm just gonna finish up putting up the screws right in here. And don't forget to put the battery. The battery goes head down first and then push back down right in there. And that's how you do your own service.